As the end of the year draws to an end, we had a pretty eventful year for RPGs. Last month was quite a memorable one with the launch of both PS5 and the Demon Souls remake which undoubtedly is still our top spot. But this year isn't over yet, as we have one more month of RPG releases. This month brings a major title to a number of platforms diving into a universe of cybernetics, mercenaries, fast cars and more. We've also got a few indie titles with some Souls-like influence, but we're also stepping back in time for a life of crime as the ultimate gangster boss. Without further ado, let's get into the month of December 2020. Honorable mention Neo 2 The First Samurai DLC the final DLC, The First Samurai, will be releasing on December 17th, 2020, which Team Ninja boasts will be adding the most challenging missions and formidable foes the series has seen so far. There is a new added difficulty level that will even give veteran players a challenging time. This DLC will dive back into the past as a visitor for the last time. Here they will find themselves in a place their mother spoke of when they were young. Discover Atakamura's past the secret of Sahayomura, the truth behind the first samurai. This will be a climactic ending for Neo 2. Those who own the Neo 2 base game will also be able to gain a free upgrade for PS5 when the game releases on the platform next year on February 5th. Neo 2 is currently available to play on PS4 and the final DLC, The First Samurai, will be releasing on December 17, 2020. Neo 2 will be releasing on PS5 as well as PC on February 5th, 2021. At number 5, Morbid the Seven Occults. Combining a 2D action RPG with a Lovecraftian universe, Morbid the Seven Occults is a Pixel Souls like set to challenge you with a number of horrors. Get ready to take on foes, mini bosses, and more memorable larger than life boss fights with a fully orchestrated soundtrack. As the last surviving striver of Debrim, your sole purpose and duty is to defeat the Seven Occults, each possessed by deities known as the Gahars. Explore a dark horror punk world full of terrible creatures as the twisted minds of the Seven Occults latch onto their hosts. Without that, they can't survive. Meet a number of NPCs through the world who will expand on immersive lore. Try out 25 different melee weapons as well as several ranged weapons such as pistols, shotguns and rifles. Keeping an eye on your health, stamina and sanity which will be all important resources needed to tackle this world. Improve your character by various RPG elements such as quests, perks, runes, upgrades and loot. Morbid the Seven Occults releases on PC, PlayStation 4, Xbox One and Switch on December 3rd. At number 4, Haven. This entry is probably the most laid back title we've got on our list, one that follows the more romantic side to storytelling, an unusual title to say the least. The premise for Haven is not to see the world burn, but to prosper in a more romantic side of things while trying to survive on an alien planet as a couple. An adventure RPG described as about everyday love rebelling against the rules and also food. Following a pair of lovers who escape to a lost planet, their goal is to stick together no matter what. Developed by the Game Bakers, the same studio that brought you Fury, Haven is about exploring a new planet, collecting resources and even battling monsters in order to unveil the world's secrets. The game can be played solo but also has the option for co-op. A second player can drop in at any point in the game by simply taking up a gamepad and pressing a button. In single player, you can take on both characters, you and Kai, with the D-pad to load Kai's actions and the buttons for you. But it's not all Paradise's players will need to make important narrative decisions, ones that will impact the game, so storytelling and action gameplay go hand in hand. Haven will be releasing on PC, PlayStation 5, Xbox One and Xbox Series X on December 3rd, with PlayStation 4 and Switch versions releasing in 2021. At number 3, Kronos Before the Ashes. Take on the atmospheric action RPG Kronos Before the Ashes, which follows a hero's quest to save their homeland. This rogue souls like pits players not only against enemies but also time. Venture forth into a world full of mystical creatures, puzzles and unforgiving combat. Cronus is by the same developer who brought you Darksiders 3 and Remnant from the Ashes. Previously the title was only available in VR but the game has been rebuilt for more platforms. What's interesting about the game is while you may start off as a spry adventurer who's quick on their feet, but as you age, you'll become more wise and become more advanced in magic. That's not the only age-oriented mechanic. Every time you die in the labyrinth, you will lose one year of your life, meaning there is a price to pay. So instead of die and get good, it's get old or die trying. Kronos Before the Ashes will release on PC, PlayStation 4, Xbox One and Stadia on December 1st. At number 2, Empire of Sin. 
Take on a strategy RPG set in the 1920s as a mob boss. Unlike strategy games such as Disco Elysium, where you play a detective or team up with animal mutants in Mutant Year Zero, this XCOM-inspired title, Empire of Sin, is all about crime that pays. Players will be able to influence the city of Chicago by bribery, trading on the black market, gaining the upper hand with your crime family, and building your notoriety. You'll be able to take on both the real and fictional infamous mob bosses such as Al Capone, Stephanie St. Clair, and Goldie Garneau. There are 14 unique bosses to choose from which you can build your own criminal empire to set in the Chicago's Prohibition era. Through turn-based combat, you can bring your gang together to gain more territory, and send a message to rival gangs to show them who's boss. Empire of Sin releases on Nintendo Switch, PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One on December 1st. At number 1, Cyberpunk 2077. It's finally here, the futuristic open world RPG by the developer who brought The Witcher 3 is releasing Cyberpunk 2077 this December. Based on the tabletop universe of Cyberpunk 2020, Cyberpunk 2077 takes place later on, where players will adventure into the Night City, a dystopian place mixed with those obsessed with power, attraction, and body modification. Take on the role of V, you are a mercenary outlaw who is after that particular implant the one that promises immortality. Cyberpunk 2077 comes with full customization of your character from cyberware to skill set to playstyle. The city is yours to explore with plenty of choices to make, shaping your story and the world around you. It's up to you to choose from three different life paths, a backstory, whether you want to be a street kid focusing on streetwise skills, a nomad who has lived out in the desert, or a corpo whose business world may offer the upper hand when it comes to the art of negotiation. Not only will you have a variation of deadly weapons at your disposal, such as the epic Mantis Blades, but also a number of fast rides to choose from. Whether you prefer to have up-close melee combat or use guns for ranged attacks, enter cyberspace and encounter new gameplay elements, fantasy-style weapons, and some creatures that might be useful in getting rid of hackers. Welcome to the dark future. Cyberpunk 2077 will be releasing on December 10th for PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC, Stadia, Xbox Series X, and PlayStation 5. That's a wrap for the top RPGs of December. Did I miss your favourite December release? What games are you most looking forward to next year? Please let us know in the comments below.